Hello everyone. Today's session is about the Windows client for the Center Stack solution. The Center Stack Windows client has two main functionalities. One is a drive mapping and the other one is the folder synchronization. So to get started, let's log in to the web portal first. The web portal is kind of the point of bootstrapping. You log in, you can see your files and folders, and in addition, you can see, uh, have a place to download the native Windows client. There are two different Windows clients. One is for the Windows 7, Windows 10, usually the Windows clients client. There's also another you know, type of client for the Windows server. We call it server agent. So one runs in the user's session, like the Windows client client, and then the server agent runs as a background service. So now let's log in. So after login, you can see the first thing shows up is a drive letter. And inside the drive letter, those are the files and folders I already have in the cloud. So the cloud content can be mapped to my Windows 10 box and shows up as a drive letter. So let's look at the drive letter a little bit closer. So it goes to um, this PC and you can see there's a My Cloud Drive showing up. And if you right click on the property, it says GFS, the Gladinet file system here. So it's not the FAT32, it's not the NTFS, but a cloud drive. So that's how you can tell um, it's a cloud drive, but it shows up in the hard drive section. So these are the files and folders we have on the cloud. So if you were to download a folder, you just drag and drop it to local. It's a one-time download. So you, know, you can see the upload and download is just like a normal drive operation, uh, drag and drop, you know, very familiar uh, usage pattern here. So let's you know, just change the folder to a different name so we can test it out the um, the upload. So now the you know, waiting for the name um, to this is a virtual machine, so it could be a little bit slow. But let's say the um, folder has been renamed. So let's get rid of some files. So we know because this folder was downloaded, and then now we are going to do an upload. So we just you know modify the folder content a little bit so we know who's who. All right, so now it's uploading the folder and then the folder is uploaded. So you can see the uploaded folder shows up under the, um, this is, you know, today's uh, upload. So upload and download. So as a summary, you have a drive letter and then you can upload and download file. And just as if it's a, you know, external cloud USB or, you know, something like in that nature. You have a drive, that's um, kind of the end of the story. So the drive is called My Cloud Drive. So that may not be what you want it to be. So let's do a little bit of branding here. There are many branding op uh, options here. So we're gonna just do the most, uh, the easiest one, the most straightforward one, just to change the product name and change the, the drive lab uh, label. So we are going to be calling it ACME Cloud Drive. And we're going to be going down to, or going up to the group policy, go to under client control and go to client settings manager. And we will uh, be editing this. So the editing paradigm is a little bit kind of, you know, following the iPhone. There's an edit button, you click edit button, and then it enables the, the modification. So by default, the settings are you know, read-only, but if you click on the edit button, then it started to allow you to make modifications. So let's say we give the drive label ACME Cloud Drive and change the drive ladder to 
uh, to K, K drive. This is our K drive. So let's see if the client takes the settings. So the client takes the settings not during the middle of the you know the work, but um, at the start of the session or the start of the you know when application starts. So we double click on the app and now it says ACME Cloud Drive. And then if you could see the shortcut from the desktop is also changed to ACME Cloud Drive. And the label is also changed to ACME Cloud Drive, right? So um, I do the change to show you the before and after, but you know, as a system administrator, typically you set up the drive label, set up the product name prior to your customer um, prior to your customer downloading and set up the, um, the solution here. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the management console. So you can see at the bottom of the status bar, you can see the version information. So if you ever need to get the version information from the Windows client, you can see there's a version in, you know, 7.8.1950 you know, um, at the bottom of the management console here. So usually you don't need to, but um, it's just you know available there if you want to. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to show you after showing you the drive feature. So now I'm going to show you the folder synchronization feature. So the terminology in Center Stack is called attach. You attach a you know local folder to the cloud, kind of visualize that action attach, right? So you. You have a local folder you attach to the cloud, and then the attachment set up a bi-directional link. So the files and folders are synchronized to the cloud, and then uh, do it both ways. You change local, sync to the cloud, changing uh, cloud, sync to local. So that's the an attachment to it. You can kind of you know visualize that a local folder becomes a extension to the cloud. So this is the local folder. Um, the one I'm showing you in the web portal is the one already synchronized to the cloud. And the one in the Windows Explorer, that's the one still on uh, exist locally. So you can work in a drive if you want to. There's a local folder there. Or if you want to work from the local folder uh, up to your choice. So some, some people find it easier to work one way. Some people find it easier to work the other. You know, for people coming from the Dropbox background, you may prefer to set up, you know, attach a folder so maintain that bidirectional synchronization. Um, but let's say if you are a user coming from a business background, you have a team folder, fifty people collaborate on the folder, then you prefer to work in a drive, you know, because sharing a folder, you know, one terabyte folder to fifty people just doesn't make any sense and. Um, but working it as a drive, you know, on-demand drive, you don't. If you don't click on it, it's not synchronized to your uh, machine, and that on-demand access makes sense, right? So then, typically, in a collaboration setup, you use the drive, and in a personal setup, you use the the local um, local synchronization folder. So now, um, we just did another thing called a link to local. So attachment means that the folder was local and then you attach it to the cloud, right? But let's say if you have been doing so for a while, you may have a lot of folders in the cloud, but let's say you just get a brand new computer, you may want to, you know, relink, set up a link back from the cloud back to your, uh, you know, brand new computer. So that's linked to local. So link to local is kind of like a reverse attachment, but at the, you know, at the end, the result is you have a, Two directional sync between the cloud and the local. So now this is a uh, folder that was in the cloud and then synchronized to local. You can see, you know, subfolder one, subfolder two, the Windows Explorer view, and then the uh, Internet Explorer view. The two view, one in the cloud, one in local, they are you know, very consistent. So now let's uh, create a new file in this. Folder. This folder, remember, it was synchron is kind of linked to the local, right? So it's a, a synchronization folder. So now we are trying to prove it. It's you know a two-way synchronization folder. 
So then uh, we modify the file um, locally and then yeah, it's showing up now, right? So after a few refreshes, it takes a little, little bit of time, maybe of, you know, 10, 20 seconds. Um, the file will be synchronized upward. So you can see, you know, file for edited locally, but now it's showing up in the cloud. So the folder, a local folder is set up to sync to the cloud. And then a cloud folder can be set up to sync to local. And if synchronization is all that you need, um, you can work 100% this way. Um, but if you do like the drive, you can work in the drive. So you just pick one or the other or both. If you become a power user, know so you know what you are doing. But from the get go, you probably just stay with one or the other, but not both. So now let's do a create a file in our local drive. Right? So this file is created in the local drive. Instead of create on a local, it's not on the C drive, but now it's in the local drive. So now we are doing in-place editing in the drive ladder, the cloud drive ladder we you know, created for us. So we created a file uh, number five. And in this specific folder, well, is it showing up yet? Not yet. Okay, so let's do another refresh. Yeah, it showed up, right? So then the file, you know, five edited locally, but now it's available. So a drive mapping and a folder synchronization. Thank you.